South Goa Advocates Association condemned the attack on fellow advocate by Porvarim police and demanded immediate suspension of four police personnel who are involved in beating the advocate. Advocate Association also demanded that the action should be taken against P.I. Porvarim for not acting on time and forcing the victim to settle the case. We are demanding that there should be a thorough interrogation investigation to be done by an independent authority. Now we know that even we are, our first demand would be that he should be immediately suspended. As of now, yesterday night they have registered an offence against the four, the four police personnel who were uh, who were the accused in that matter. So, but and that matter, I think they are transferring to the crime branch. But the only thing is that we will demand that since offence is already registered against him, this would be a and this is an offence under three not say attempt to murder an advocate. So we would demand that he should be suspended, this four personnel should be suspended immediately. This would be our first demand. Thereafter, investigation to be done by an independent. We will ask for a magistrate in inquiry. So what happens is, if it is a department of inquiry, it could be manipulated by them very well. So we would ask for an independent inquiry by either the district magistrate north or district magistrate south. Only one thing that I would like to raise if in case not raised. Now I know that there is an offence under 353 uh, registered against R. Kavi itself. So I would only request that somehow we take this issue to the High Court for washing of FIR. So once that goes, everything can travel along with that. So the High Court knows what it is. Because see, 353 might be fair enough. Okay, I, I have been there, I have stopped you from performing some duties. But that does not mean that you should in return assault me to such an extent that you break my jaws and break my skull, whatever. So I think if those points are raised because that FIR would definitely not cover this that in return we assaulted him. They would never say this. They might maximum say that okay, he prevented us from doing our duties. So if we go a step ahead and if we tell the court that look, this is what has happened. In return it is me who has suffered grievous or serious or dangerous injuries. Then I think this, this uh, it would take a different angle altogether. One more larger issue came up. We asked him what was the delay in registering the FIR and the answer he gave was shocked, has shocked us. We understood the mystery of what is happening at the police station and how the police station records show less crime. We were told after he was brought at the police station in the police chief after being assaulted, when he wanted to file a complaint, the in charge at the police station went out of the way to convince him not to register the complaint some sort of compromise was sought to be worked out. When that failed, he was blackmailed and said, if you go ahead with your complaint, we will also lodge our complaint. That effort at the police station has to be criticized. Not only the constable, but the people who tried to prevent that FIR being registered have to be taken at task. A bigger probe has to be now made at the police station for us to understand why there is no crime at the police station registered being registered where everywhere we see crime taking place. If the police force can go out of the way to convince a lawyer to compromise, to blackmail a lawyer not to register the FIR, then we do not require such police stations. Such police stations have to be shut down. For Prime Video Journalist, Vishwesh Prabhu Desai, Margao.